I knew it wouldn't <laughs> happen. Oh my God. <laughs> Nearly. It's not a gimme, Fran. Oh, well done. There you go. Thanks, Eddie. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. Well done, Fran. Lovely Unbelievable. Lovely 17th lovely position, definitely in the bag. <laughs> you had a good day? Brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. yeah fantastic golf course. And uh, can't wait to get back down to summer play, but it's uh, surprising how much room we got out the back there. I just couldn't get over it. It's really, really good. That's it. And you think with the white draws, we could have maybe used up some of that golf course for some of the flashback, Brad. <laughs> you, you put it in all weather track, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. He, couldn't, he couldn't wait to get the dig in, no, couldn't no, no. the wide draws. No, but he's right, if we, if we had a wide of that track out there a bit more, you could have a lovely big sweep big across. Big poly track, floodlights, yeah. This is it, I'd say they're lovely in the area, they'd love us to put the floodlights and whatnot. But uh, I don't know, it is, it's a lovely golf course, isn't it? Ah, class, really good, and it uh, gives you obviously all year round business as well, doesn't no, it? Look, yeah. look, we love it, we're delighted to have it. You only had to get changed twice mm. in the round, in fairness, you've seen that, Kevin, he came out all in. I was impressed, he, yeah. he did give me a lift down, because <laughs> Otherwise, pass a little bit incapacitated at the moment. But uh, to be fair, I was surprised there was plenty of room in the back, which is unusual. And you brought down one set of claws, <laughs> which is highly <laughs> unusual. I'm still in shock over it. He used to go for a bite to eat in a few minutes. Uh, I, 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 God, I, 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 I did, we're I did bring a change of another jacket anyway, so we'll be all good. All, all set for test this day. Yeah, no, look, we're just, just about there. Can't wait mm. now at this stage. We said we'd go with a bit of a novel way of launching it this year with a round of golf. And so look, we got all the big names down, the big stars, and <laughs> it was it was brilliant. But look, it's been a great crack. It's mm. a lovely environment to be big dealing time. with it, you know. So it's it's just something different. And I mean, we don't. Every time we see each other, we're under pressure. There's no one under pressure today, like so. Everyone's so, chilled out, easy exactly. Monday, isn't it? Yeah. You're yeah. gonna shock. You're gonna be shocked at this now. No. Don't fall down. But he told me on the way down the road, his Goffs Taestis. I says, you wouldn't have never been to a Goffs Taestis yeah. since you were a kid. I got highly insulted. Highly he did. Insulted. Yeah. He jammed yeah. on the car, yeah. leg went forward, <laughs> hopped my head off the dashboard, and he looked at me and he said, I'll have you know I rode a double here on Goffs Taestis day over jumps. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. A three old hurl from Martin Brazel and a maiden hurl from Jim Draper. Ollie Mar. Holy God. <laughs> Can't remember the year. Just <laughs> <laughs> that's some going on. Fairness, because Tiesta's day, like every race is competitive, so mm. you can be absolutely guaranteed. I'd say you got some buzz. I'd say it was a big crowd, uh, wasn't there? Big time is jammed. Yeah, sure. Thursday, Tiesta's day, January. Sure, it's um, it's usually quite month, isn't it? And then you get it lifts off at that, and then you're into Leopardstown afterwards and everything. So it's yeah, it was a big day. And I was only claiming five at a time. It's having a good run, but you know, picking up good rides like that, and one was short, a short enough price favourite, Olimar. Bit of pressure and uh, big, big day. Yeah. Wow, I lost a fair bit of money on that. If you, if <laughs> I, you I, I haven't been back since, though, so I better, I better come this year. <laughs> but it is a wonderful day, isn't it? And uh, it's a standalone for a midweek fixture in this day mm. and age. It's still huge. It's a standalone. People thought they put a date in their diary uh, to make mm. sure, take a day off work if they come to Goss Tiestes Day. The buzz and the atmosphere is second to none, isn't it? Ah, it is. Look, it's you know, be long before I ever worked there, you were coming here for the, the Tiestes, you know, so to be part of it now is just the stuff of dreams. Like I, it. I have friends that get a bus down from Dublin every year, you know, just jump on, it's a traditional thing for them and I'm sure that's multiplied. Oh, this is it, you know, like the bus car park would be full to the neck. It's a real social day out, mm. but sure. Unfortunately, them days, I mean, things are moving on. People are kind of changing their habits and stuff and thank God, for us anyway, that Tiestes is one of the habits that people have stuck with. Well, it's good to see that that tradition is still there, isn't it? And there's a lot of young people come as well. As you say, your friends coming down, I know they're not that young, if they're the same age as us, but you see the younger generation uh, coming in all dressed up to the nines as well, and they get buses they, and they go back into Kilkenny. It's great, actually, that the local economy benefits so much from Goss Tiestes. It, you know, and it's, it's, it's probably just enough of a gap away from Christmas as well. Mm. You know, 26th of mm. January, we've had 24 days probably to recover from the whole Christmas period, so you have a chance to let go again and have a bit of crack you know and like I even see it my, my daughter said it to me the other day herself and her friends are coming up from college and I was like God will you not come on red and stay instead you know just give me a bit of peace but uh, no no they, they have to come on, on, on the big day and look everybody wants to be on a part of a day like that anyway so look it's, it's brilliant I, I'm delighted to see it and for Friday Club viewers Kevin often goes missing for a few minutes on a Friday mi might miss a race actually leave me on my own the reason that happens is he's on a radio show with Eddie on a Friday night so one of, one of your other jobs to, that you don't tell anyone about but Eddie often have him on well Eddie Scally has definitely got more jobs than I have I don't I, don't. I said to the breed I said we'll be looking at it what are you doing this week and I'd always say you think I'm busy ring Kevin or Ryan you know but I know it's, it's great and our Friday night listeners as well like they love it because Unfortunately, we are live like yourselves, and, and we like to have the Dewey on. Do you know what I mean? And we've done that a few times where one of you's jumped off and you know, jumped off and you know, if they only knew it. But you're looking, it's a good crack. And, I mean, it's the people like Kenny and Carlo. Even today, Fran, you wouldn't have noticed that earlier on, but when Kevin was talking, Robbie said, Is that Fran or Kevin? Because he recognised the voice, but he hadn't obviously seen the face before, you know. So it's it, it, it's brilliant. And look, 
Long may I continue with the two of you joining me on the radio station. <laughs> that's a good bit of crack as well, isn't it? Ah, it is, you know, but look at it. It's all about promoting the sport, like that's all. For me, I get 10 minutes that I can give to racing every week and if I get one of you two guys coming on, like your knowledge is brilliant and people love that, to get to hear a little bit of it. And that's why people tune in on a Friday night as well, to, to hear what you have to say, like it's 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 a, it's a vital part of it. For me, I like texting you and giving out after your, <laughs> your selections. <laughs> but it's, look, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? I met one of my uh, DJs there from KCLR today. I like his 90s dance on a Friday night. I remember sending you a message one night, next day he's played a request for us, coming back from the <laughs> Cork or Listall or somewhere. Free, free, freed from desire, actually. Free from desire, yeah. The car was hopping <laughs> on the way home. Eddie Hughes, yeah, he'd be a, he'd be a legend. He'd be a legend. <laughs> yeah. you know, and in fairness, so my text him, I said, did you give Kevin a shout out on the way home there? And he said, no bother at all. <laughs> so next thing Kevin was texting me saying, you pope, you know, you shouldn't have done that. But it's all a bit of crack too, isn't it? Hey, and I, you know what? He's got another job that Eddie Scally has. Tell him, you know, you're a, not just a race course manager, a radio presenter, Manic you're also football a... Football manager. Yeah, no, hurling, hurling manager. manager. Hurling yeah. manager. Yeah, no, look, I had a really good year this year, Matthew Flynn. O'Connor, the point to point trainer, was with me and won a championship with Blacks and Whites in Kilkenny, which was a great achievement. And you know, we, we loved it. And this year, now I'm going to Carlow, um, taking on Bagnestown Gales down there in the senior hurling championship. So it'll be a bit different and another bit of, bit of crack. And we go Transfer, for, yeah, but, yeah <laughs> big signing, big, big signing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This breaking yeah. news for the Friday club. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's not, no, no, we'll be back trading actually starting back tonight as well. So it's not, it's it's important. Ah, look, it's, it's it's a great hobby to have. and Look, the GA is a big part of my life. And this year, Eddie, you're obviously not the manager of Wexford anymore. Big year for Gorn Park. Obviously, the Red Mills Day is going to be huge in February. Flat racing, obviously, back in April. But it's uh, going to be a big development. Ah, yeah. Look, the new jockey's wearing. We've been kicking around it for a long time to get it done. Going to start now in March. And that's a massive, mm. massive undertaking for the, for the for the track. And I think that'll bring us right up to the top table where we deserve to be in racing. So it's an important cog to get repaired. And one thing every Irish track wants in a minute on big days is UK trained runners. If you get a few over, I know they don't come over much for jumps, but on the flat you do get regular yeah. UK runners. It's a great thing to have. It is, yeah. And in fairness, you know, in fairness, in the flat we always get good support for it. But in, in the jumps as well, we've offered, you know, we we offer to pay the, the travelling expenses for the English horses mm. if they enter the Toyota this chase. So, but it's you know, it's not easy for an English trainer to come over here. <laughs> and you're, you're, you are taking us on in our backyard, and literally, <laughs> uh, you know, when you've got Willie there, 15 seconds up the road, this is his home match. <laughs> so it doesn't happen too often. But in fairness, in the last couple of years, Rebecca Curtis brought over. I think it was a fish. Cross, mm. I think, rang for mm. JP, and there's been a few horses come across, and you'd love to see more because it just adds to the whole mm. day, you know. And Goss Test is there, Eddie. What can we expect? People sitting at home now, uh, I was going to say tonight, but it'll be out Friday night in the Friday club. What can they expect? What, uh, on the day, obviously the racing as well, but you always think outside the box, you have something for everybody. Oh uh, yeah, look, we've we've all the corporate hospitality is sold out now at this stage, thank God. But you know, we've we've any amount of stuff. There's a full old food quarter out the back of the main stands, middle floor we've live music, ground floor there's live music, we've live music marquee beside the parade ring as well, after dark we'll be playing straight after racing. So it's just a really good buzz, you know, we don't force it down your neck. You know, but you know, I would say to anybody coming here, you know, just leave early. The first race on the day, I think, is at twelve fifty. But you know, get here early because you know there is only one road in and out. There, like there were some great scenes last year. Um, obviously, only just a lockdown, Omnicrom wave or whatever, and uh, Gorham Park was one of the first place back with full attendance, and uh, that tent was rocking. Oh, it was, and I tell you, <laughs> it was just it was brilliant though because the restri- we were told we were allowed four thousand, but there were so many restrictions to manage 4,000 that we were kind of going, oh God, you know, you'd nearly be better off with nobody, like the way it was going. The next thing, the Friday night, I got the call to say, look, there's no restrictions, do what you like. And we were like, happy days. You know? so, so we you went all out, like, oh, did you know, but look, I'm sure this year, probably, there was probably a few people stayed away last year. It was literally like the day before we weren't allowed outside, the next day we were allowed to do what we liked. So I think this year we're a bit more prepared for it. So it should be another brilliant day. And still plenty of tickets online to get as well. Oh yeah, no, no, tickets are there on, on gorhampark.ie. Still selling early bird tickets as well. So saving 20% by buying them online we'd always encourage people to buy them online anyway because mm. I mean the queues there on the day you know will you let me in oh yeah no I'll look after you yeah. Fran 100% <laughs> he's got the red carpet treatment because he's still in shock <laughs> that you were on a double and got he's getting a lifetime membership for the golf club now and everything like that. <laughs> And yeah, hey, the golf club as well, Eddie. Ta- a little bit about the golf club. If there's people that are going to be watching this as well, and they're going to say, "Hey, I want to join Gorham Park Golf Club." How do they do that? Yeah, just look contact the golf offices here, at GorhamPark.ie. or as well. Mm. We have a very good membership here, big membership, big member club, I should say. There's a lot of members in it, and um, our membership runs from April to April. So if you join now, it brings you into April 2024. 
Um, so it's you know you and, got e and even for day out you're just off the motorway and I played with three lads that go everywhere to play golf and we're definitely coming back in the summer it's beautiful like in the summer you would not beat this for a setting I don't oh. think they're bringing you back though the weather talk and you've let them down today no well that's what Mouse Bosty and Jerry Connolly it, said anyway it, it's the start of the year I'm going to get a few quid out of this so I'm not going to he's always looking for an angle absolute, absolute. absolute. <laughs> I love it Cher yeah. I'm out here kicking it out of the way why is we ringing Fran no no come down, come down. what do we play for whatever you want lads uh, 26.9 I have a chance <laughs> <laughs> and Shark Hanlon, he's obviously going to cost you a lot of money after today because he's gone around here like he's been in a JCB. With the, <laughs> I, I love, love to get a JCB to fill in the did divots. You, did you get a shot of his golf shoes? <laughs> <laughs> You're, 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 you're bad man in fairness to the Sharky you know, no matter what we're doing if we pick up the phone to him he's a hand and a heart he's there to help us out and all that he's, he's a good friend of the Friday club as well so yeah, yeah. to be fair he was going around today with the driver now I don't play golf but he was going around and he was sticking into the round like this he looked like he was out hunting cattle yeah, as he was walking along he's clever out now what he's doing is he's checking the ground there for the so he'd be saying nothing now but if something lined up there and he just wants to make sure the ground is right for him yeah you know? but he was checking it in here in the greens oh well it's this yeah. unless you're yeah. going to have something that's going to run loose you don't know you, I see one person and putting it up there saying that if the Shark Hanlon doesn't win that golf competition <laughs> with his handicap mark we're all we're all goose. so it'd be interesting to see what score he comes back in with and hey there's been a great turnout today hasn't it it's been ah, enjoyable mm. look it's brilliant you know what we did was we just sent an open invite out to, to lots of people any of the lads I knew any of the lads Davey knew sent them text messages asked them to come down and in fairness everybody that we text you know they were only delighted to come down and in fairness we got to get a lovely day mm. weather wise as well it's cold but you know we don't mind it being cold it's nice and dry and away you go you know so look it's it's, it's brilliant we're delighted great stuff and Eddie just take out Goss Testy's day and Red Mills day you have a lot of big days throughout the year as well and Kilkenny we've seen TJ Reid and Michael Fennelly of course two of the great All-Ireland TJ Reid yeah <laughs> <laughs> TJ didn't he didn't ever wrote a double there but so that thing they go around with a uh, use a stick in their hands. Uh, not not that, no. Yeah, I know. It's, Eddie says, it's hard. come and meet TJ Reid. He's like, who? <laughs> TJ. TJ was actually talking to me that time at the bar when you walked in. He was that big tall guy. But he's, I don't know, he's a super fella, but the hurlers are great supporters of us here. Uh, Michael's obviously retired now, but again, he came out with your hero, Eddie Hughes, there. He came out with Eddie today. <laughs> TJ's obviously got the TJ Reid Health and Fitness. He's working inside in. We, inside just off Redmills there you have TJ Reid having fitness so he's in there with the lads so he's playing with Joe today and look it's 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 great to have them here like I mean the Kenny is hurling and you have to just accept that when you come here <laughs> uh, that's the way it works yeah Fran I know we're killed there lads we don't have much to shout about in the GA but Definitely we not, are in the yeah. home of hurling and of course uh, Eddie you have your own Kilkenny Hurling GA Day here every year, which is always a huge success. The lads, TJ Reid and Michael Fenley and all the all the greats, former players and current players, they all come and they've loads of time, don't they? They stand for uh, lot in for all the pictures, all the kids, and they make themselves so available to everybody. I know they're absolutely brilliant. Um, in fairness to the lads, you know they're, they're they come in, they stand around, they'll stay there all day if they have to get pictures taken with kids. They're they're super fellas, you know, but they're well grounded. I mean, Brian Cody was there for 20 years and or more, I should say, nearly 25 years, and you know he's he's instilled that in them all. And I'm sure Linger now is after going in there, Derek Ling, and he it, that's the the way the Kilkenny thing is. And you'll see that here on Kilkenny GA, the, the players that are asked to come out all come. Mm. They don't send them all mm. out; they'll send out five or six, but they'll do what they need to do. And, and you know it's an important day for GA as well. It's important for Kilkenny GA. Like, but look, we've 19 fixtures here during the year, and. You try and do something with as many of them as you can. We've lots of, you know, quiet fixtures that are kind of on a Tuesday or Wednesday mm. during the day, and they have to be done as well to service the industry. But the days that we feel that we can do something, with, we try our best. And, you know? and the one thing on that, your busy track, you said a lot of fixtures. You got the golf course. Your ground is also immaculate. You always produce a really good surface, and it takes a bit of work. You have a good team. Ah, uh, in fairness, the yard track foreman Raymond, and Paul, and the lads on the track there, Jimmy, Michael, Dreaming, the lads are, you know, they, they love the place, and that's a big thing for mm. us. That you know that they really do look after, and even the golf lads as well. He wouldn't notice as much. With if you watch when we're racing, the fairways are always striped up to all that. Joe and the team on the golf course, they take such pride in the golf course that if we're going to be on the TV cameras, they want yeah, the place looking look really apart, well. Yeah. You know? And this is it, it's sure where we're standing. It's, mm. it's January now, like, and the, the green itself is just in immaculate nick like it. And that's one of the key oh. attributes here to Gorham Park, that they're all interested, they take so much pride, the lads out in the track, the lads in the golf course as well, the likes of Razzie and that, they're always looking for a winner of the day on a day as well, including yourself. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> some, some, someone's got to pay us, you know. <laughs> I know. Uh, we've a good striker here with Eddie on a Friday night, we give him loads of winners. That's it, yeah, yeah, 100%. I don't think we've done well on the Gorham Christmas Park. Christmas party was a disaster. Yeah, 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 yeah. he doesn't forget this. Early, we yeah. <laughs> we've got a lot of abusive look, text messages. That's, yeah. Yeah. Eddie. that's what happens when you have your Christmas party on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> and Dundalk is on but I know it's it, look we're all we all big fans of horse racing like and any, any of us if we weren't working here we'd be still horse racing fans mm. you know we've always been and that's that's the way it is but no we love it we like to see the place looking well we like to look back on, on TV and say you know I'm glad 
done that or I'm glad I've done this if we changed anything on the day we do listen in and I know I'd be ribbing you about draw bias and stuff but we, we'd always listen in to what's been said as well we listen yeah. to the jockeys mm. been interviewed afterwards and you know you, you know that you might remember you were just gone to England I'd say when I grew up here and started going into the way room to see how everybody was <laughs> <laughs> I think you would just gone but I, I'd walk in and I'd say to the lads what do you think lads mm. or I'd ring Kevin and say I knew there was bother so Kevin will you go into the way room there for a minute just see if anyone's really can improve though if you yeah, don't well, get this yeah, it, you know? and it's, it is important like we've you had it over the years like I was really lucky before Pat's one in the past he was always really good to us and he was always very good mm. if I rang him you know and I said to him like he'd know if I was ringing there was something wrong he'd know I knew there was something wrong already <laughs> so I'd be ringing kind of saying like you know what would you think and he, you know he'd always mm. be encouraged and I know you were the same Kevin Manning like unfortunately you can see you know the time is kind of moving on a little bit too like I mean Kevin was always brilliant with us and especially in the last few years you know just little bits of advice and stuff well the story I always tell about you you were only here only I think it was your second or third meeting and I'm, it might have been you but it was Pat Gobby Good Tomb and Kevin Manning maybe you and Declan McDonough are out in the track he just said just who's this new who's the race course manager here and I said Eddie Scally he's only started right can we have a, I said what's wrong because to be fair Eddie would always say if the lads have any mm. issues let me know trainers jockeys lads in the stable yard anything so I said I'll give him a ring get him to come out to us there and out comes Eddie anyway walks the track the lad says just a little bit quick right says Eddie what do you want me to do and the lads came up with an idea about the air rater. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah. So anyway, that's fine. Eddie says, yeah, grand, no problem. I'll look into that. So gang of us go back to the Lord Bagnall on the way home for dinner. Yeah. And rarely do you have phone coverage in the Lord Bagnall. 11 o'clock, phone rings, Eddie Scally. Blown. I said, Jesus, what's wrong with you, Eddie? <laughs> I'm in the tool shed here. He says, I think I'm at the find one of those things there that the lads are talking about. An air rater. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, he did. But not just saying it, you're open to, you're thinking all the time how to improve the place. But this is it, you know what I mean? In fairness to the jockeys, like, like the lads come in and they say something, you have them growling. Like, I know myself, you're after being beaten on a one to five favourite and you're take out. I'm not going over to ask you if you're taking a growl. Fran stupid. was never like no, that. But you, you know, but if a jockey comes to you and then you say, this is it, you know. But they come to you and they say, look, and Eddie, will you have a look at this? Will you have a look at that? And you know, straight away we were saying, let's get this sorted. You know, so look, it's it's a team effort as well. We want to make sure that they're getting the best possible surface that they can have and present it the best way it can be. And for us ourselves, you know, the last thing we want is any hassle or hardship. So we try and listen to the lads and work with them. You know, and just thinking, you love to have a bet. Mm. His burgeoning. GA career. Wonder what price he's been next to Kenny Harlan manager. Just give Derek a chance. He's only there a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but apart from the you know the court, race course, the golf course, the Gaelic, everything else you're into, you're very good in social media as well. You're very good on Twitter. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't think so I'd say I'm the biggest sulky person in the world I actually think social media is the devil <laughs> he was being sarcastic I know that yeah, I'm well yeah. aware of it well do you know his wife Adele when they've been out and Eddie goes uh, she takes the phone off him now has to be done <laughs> yeah oh no it can't be can't, literally Just. Nope. Shut down. Last thing. I need to be taken away from the world. Just to be peace myself. It's too tough. It's too tough. And Eddie, also another thing on a serious note, very important thing. We saw Michael Higgins here from the Indian Jockeys Fund. You're a big part of that as well behind the scenes. A lot of people don't know about. Yeah, no. Look, I do. With, I suppose very, some very small cog and a big wheel there now. But, but I'll be on the board there and um, do a bit of work with them. And I can. Ruby's obviously the chairman there as well. Michael's the chief. But look, it's it's a brilliant organisation. It's it's a very very important organisation as well. And um, it's it's heavily supported by all the jockeys they're the guys that are keeping it going and there's a good few volunteers not just myself there's, there's a lot of other good volunteers from horse racing Ireland and whatnot. I think I'm I think I'm the only race course manager on it at the moment but I'd say that's by yeah, I think it's more by design now than I, I know every race course manager in Ireland that happily sit on that board and help them as well but it's it's a it's a brilliant organisation and I think you know Michael and the lads they do great work but I think jockeys need to remember you know that it is the likes of Fran was there for a while Ruby uh, jockeys that are nearly in the retirement mm. you know they're the lads that are keeping this going David Casey's on that board as well you know, so I think the younger jockeys coming through, they need to start thinking themselves in their own heads mm. and, and help out where they can as well because, you know, it's hopefully they'll never need it, but unfortunately they will, some of them will anyway. And look, it's the big important that we're there for them when they do need it. No end to this man's talents, is there? Definitely not. And uh, just on the big days, small days, race courses, tennis, the bigger days are getting bigger and the everyday stuff, crowd wise, it's harder to get people in midweek, is it, than the weekends it or is. the big marquee days, if you like? It is. Look, look, I mean, in fairness, you have to keep your big days as big as you can. So, you know, you kick it as hard as you can and mm. push it as hard as you can and do as much. The smaller days, they are getting harder because costs are so expensive and it's very hard to promote a smaller fixture as well. And, you know, you don't want to be bringing 
big sponsors in on a really weak day you want to be bringing them in on the big days too so look it's it's the nature of the beast it's like everything else i'm sure you know we've 19 fixtures here i think honestly i can i think i've got seven or eight really good fixtures i've two outstanding you know out on their own but then i've got five or six other really decent fixtures with them then outside of that there's industry days and you know people have to accept that there's industry days are there to service the industry mm. and i think maybe there should be a bit of joined up thinking by the tracks and maybe come up with a system for the industry days that you know with all tracks you get some form of a card that you use and a lot of yeah, this yeah. is it that you're mm. rewarded you know that we reward people for not just coming to Gorn or Wexford or Tremor or wherever you're going you know but it's it's on them quieter days because every track has them I mean you look at the car you know the Derby the Guineas they're all brilliant days but there's loads of other days that are just you know the industry days and I think if all the tracks work together and maybe come out with some type of a loyalty card system or something because like we all want the same thing we just want people attracted into racing are we going to get hit with a golf ball here? well <laughs> you know what I have a hospital appointment so I may hobble off here and uh, you're driving Friday night, by the way. I am. Yeah. It looks like it anyway. So you're Eddie, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, thanks, lads. You got to come Chinese with us. <laughs> no. Come on, Kev. Come on. Come on. Yup. 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 Hey, what do you think of my James Bond? Like crutches? Look. Hello. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.